Hi everyone, I'm Charles from Weaviate, and in this section I'm going to be covering uh, how to build uh, production ready a RAG applications uh, with Weaviate Vector Database, as well as how to optimize your search and increase the quality using our built in hybrid search functionality. Um, and finally, we're going to cover how to use uh, Cohere's re-ranker to improve the final quality of your results using Weaviate. 8 As your use case expands from a POC stage to a fully-fledged application, the question of how to make it ready for production scale will likely come to mind. Weaviate 8 is designed to optimize the storage and querying of unstructured data to allow fast and efficient retrieval of similar objects, and most importantly, it enables users to quickly build AI-native applications with a rich e ecosystem of tooling and services. So let's jump in. So here, to begin with, um, I've just imported uh, my Weaviate uh, Python client, as well as Weave, um, which we'll be using to fetch uh, the data set that, from the pre-processed data set from the previous sections. We're using Weaviate Cloud to streamline setting up Weaviate. Weaviate Cloud is built on top of Weaviate's uh, core open source database. And by using Weaviate Cloud for building our application, we don't need to worry about hosting or, or infrastructure setup. We get to just focus on building the application. So all I need for using Weaviate Cloud is my Weaviate URL and my Weaviate key. So I'm going to set those here. Oops. Set those here. And I'm also going to fetch our pre-processed data uh, from Weave that we created in the last section. So Weaviate also has a number of modules and integrations. Uh, one, one of them is Cohere, and we provide integrations for Cohere's embed, re-rank, and chat APIs. When initializing our Weaviate client below, we simply add the Cohere API key in as an entry to our headers argument, and we're ready to start using any of the API integrations that we need. So I create our client here, and that's it. That's our Weaviate client created. So now we need to create a collection. So uh, collections are where we store objects and build vector indexes. To create a collection, we need A, a unique property collection, and then we need a list of properties and their corresponding data types. Optionally, we can add additional configuration, such as a vectorizer config and a re-ranker config, which in this setup, we're going to use Cohere's APIs for. So once created, the collection is ready to ingest and index data. There's no need to pass vectors in manually. Our vectorizer will make all the calls to Cohere's embed endpoint in the background. So here you can see I have a collection, and I'm giving it uh, this name, 1B uh, Weaviate 8 demo. I passed in a vectorizer config, which is text of cohere, as well as a re-ranker config, which is cohere's uh, re-ranker. I've added four properties, parsed content, source, words, and parsed tokens, as well as the corresponding data type for each of those. So if I hit enter here, that should create the co uh, collection. So now it's time to import our data. Before we start querying our data for the RAG app, we need to first get it into Weaviate. 8 Weaviate 8 provides an optimized batch API that enables users to add multiple data objects to their collection without having to worry about configuring batches themselves. By initializing a batch object and adding your batches inside the context manager, the client will dynamically add batches to your collection. And since we've already initialized our collection, the default Cohere vectorizer vectorizes these objects and these, they'll have their embeddings created during the import step. So here you can see I'm just creating the, the, batch, uh, the batch object, and I'm just adding, adding objects from our data set to that, and those will all be added automatically. So let's run this. And there we have it. The objects are imported, and we can double check that they've all been added by doing uh, the length of the collection. And here we can see that there's 406 items, which corresponds to all the docs that we've added. So that's it. That's how you can add, uh, set up a Weaviate uh, client and collection and add your data to it. It only takes a few short steps and we're now ready to start querying.